we're live after our blopsy of ending the stream and then starting the stream again. We just wanted to catch everybody out, see that everybody was awake. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the intro, Badger. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another night of Come On. This tonight we are playing Old Faves or Old Faves. Old Faves? Old Faves. With us this evening, we have Run Rabbit. Say hello. She's over there. If you can't hear her very well, it's because the new microphones we bought that had the, the the supposedly unidirectional thing didn't work the way we wanted to. We've got to do more stuff to make them work. But anyway, um, hopefully my sound is good. <laughs> we got Visions to Insanity. Ryan in the bottom corner with no commander set yet. Hello. This is me without commander. And the same goes for Code Monkey. Ricardo in the bottom right corner. Oh my gosh, it's Dr. Death. Well, hello. Yes. It's been a long time. Welcome to chat. Good Lord. Hello, man. Wow. Andre, welcome, dude. You see rats? Sending my energy to the rat overlords, says Badger. Well, that would be you, Ricardo. Okay, so what we did is we basically just said, yeah. let's play our old faves uh, for this evening. Uh, and so that's what we've done. But before we get into that, just want to be a big shout out to our partners on Plug Yourself. As always, they're amazing and they keep us in this game, which is, is very, very cool. They're also part of the reason we have an awesome Patreon, which you can go check out at patreon.com forward slash easy gaming group, where if you do decide to become a patron, you then get a ticket into the draw, the quarterly draw to win 4,000 bucks worth of Magic the Gathering goodies courtesy of our amazing partners at Unplug Yourself. Um, so you should do that. And speaking of patrons, we actually have to do a thing where we shout out all our patrons on all of our episodes, which is going to become pretty hectic if we get like loads. But for, we, could scroll them at the end we should scroll them at the end or something. Yeah. Um, but we'll figure something out. But for now, I want to say a big shout out to Zoe and to Yolanda and to Ricardo, who are both here, and to Kendra, who I can see in chat, welcome, and to Niels, and to Christoph, and to Rob, who I can also see in chat, and to Christopher Crane. I think that's everybody. I hope I haven't missed anyone. If I have, you are welcome to hit me over the head with a soft baseball bat. This place, we need his head. Yeah, don't, don't wreck the head. I see Fox Club is in it. Fox Club has got something really cool for everybody this evening, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. We've got something really cool lined up for next week where you, the audience, will get to choose who plays what. So keep an eye out for that. We'll get Cora to drop that in chat a bit later. Who is Boo Boo? Why is Conscript saying, Hi, Boo Boo? Who's your Boo Boo? Who's your Boo Boo? We had a Boo Boo. We had a dog. We called him Boo Boo. His real name was Kelvin, um, and he was a rotty boo boo, <laughs> and he was the boo boo. Um, anyway, so let's just quickly run around the table and talk about whose decks yeah, does no, what. Yeah, not, like, no, let's not actually. This isn't the Mad Magazine game. We don't actually have to get up and run around the Sorry. table. I just, I just thought, I just saw everybody in my head like running around the table. <laughs> right. Boo boo the bear. Okay, conscript, you go, brother. <laughs> Riding rabbit. Talk to us about Oskia and what have you done to this deck in the interim that it deserves to come back for old faves? <laughs> Sorry, I was trying some maniacal laughter. Um, I have done things to Oskia to try and make it so that he can send things away and then they come back and then they can make more and then he can be like a plethora of things. So that's what I've done. That sounds interesting. I like a plethora of things. Let's jump to the other corner. Uh, Ryan, you have a nonsense deck. Yeah, so I haven't played this deck yet on Commander, so this is the first time the audience is, is seeing it. So it's it's a it's a partner Commander. It's about flipping coins, causing chaos, flipping coins, and then hopefully I can flip enough coins that I win the game somehow. I'm not sure how, but I mean, I'm going to flip coins, I'm going to win the game, I'm going to make treasures. So Kamikaze Ooh. Badger says, I want to support rats, but Run Rabbit's evil laugh is winning me over. Um, I just want to <laughs> clarify something. When you say flipping coins, you're not substituting a swear word there, are you? No, okay. no, I'm not flipping the bird. As, you're as talking as, uh, about the actual action of flipping a coin. Yes. And how are we going to represent the flipping dice. of coins tonight? Are we rolling dice? Yeah, it's, easy. it's a bit easier on stream, unless I'm going to like shoot my phone with a, with okay. a coin. Uh, fair enough. Don't shoot your phone. <laughs> We don't want to kill your phone. Code Monkey, you have rats. And I think we know all about I them. Have, have there been any changes 
to the Maranoa deck, or is it still just rats up the Wahuni for everyone? It's 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 my Ratatouille deck. It is uh, rats up the Mahuni, and I'm <laughs> going to try and create many, make them unblockable, and kill you guys. Um, Sounds like a plan. It's the third. <laughs> Okay, I think it's the fourth time I'm playing this deck. It only managed to win one so far, so hopefully I can can replicate that. But no, I haven't made any changes since since last time. All right, cool. I am running Korvald, Fey Cursed King. This will be the second time that Korvald makes an appearance here on Command. This first time he was out, he was victorious with a terrible, terrible scape shift field of the dead. Corvold sacrificial thing that just ripped everything apart. Um, there have been a few changes. We've added a slight, a slight um, Forgotten Realmsy kind of feel to the deck a little bit. Um, there may be a little bit of dungeoneering in here with old Corvold. Uh, there might be some interesting peoples coming out to play with Corvold, the Fair Cursed King, should he ever make it onto the board and survive. But that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Also, just to let you all know, we are starting something really, really cool, speaking of the Forgotten Realms. Corvold is as bad, read good, as Golos. Damn straight. <laughs> Conscript. Um, so this Saturday afternoon, from about 4 p.m. onwards... Uh, no, we're not playing with Asamara, da, 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 who the hell knows the rest. <laughs> I do like the way you've written that bigger class. <laughs> um, we are starting with session zero of our brand new Dungeons and Dragons live stream. That will be starting this Saturday at 4 p.m. right here on twitch.tv forward slash easy gaming group. And we are calling it because we're original like that. Roll this. So it should be lots of fun. We are going, we, we do have a, something to give away on that particular stream courtesy of our partners at unplug yourself so if you're keen and you like dnd or if you know people who do like dnd you should come through i am the dm kamikaze badger he said interesting who's the dm i am the dm would you like to come and die i mean play <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving right along let's hit this button that random should we randomize more than once let's see what happens hey I see, I'll, be, I'll be watching some of the other streams. Like there's a guy called Command Guru who does this thing where they randomize like four times. They're going to click, 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 click. <laughs> Just so that it's like totally random. So I'm going to go twice. Yeah? Boom. Cool. Yeah. And then let's go. Boom. Hey, I get to go first. Okay, okay cool. Run Rabbit gets to go first, which wow. means first up is the Oscar. Oscar. They randomize until they get the order they want, says Zoe. I don't know. I just clicked it twice. So let's see what happens. The worst that could happen is... Dr. Death. I bet I'm the only one here that actually have a DM qualification. A DM qualification? I don't know if you need a qualification. Anyway, it's uh, you to go, Run Rabbit. Yes. Ball. And so we begin. Good game, everybody. Who's playing in the D&D? Uh, in the D&D, <laughs> in the D&D, strangely enough, we have some people you've met before. Uh, so Robert Wilde from Top Deck will be there, along with Rudolf from Top Deck, because they came through the auditions with flying colors. Um, on top of that, Run Rabbit and Ricardo will be there. Ricardo, I must tell you, in auditions played one of the coolest fighters I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> Did some amazing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it was very cool. <laughs> And then we have a brand new player who's never played the game before. Her name is Tracy, and she will be joining us uh, on Saturday. Um, she's had one or two practice sessions, obviously, through the auditions, but uh, she's going to be joining us for her first actual campaign uh, on Saturday afternoon as we roll up our characters and take it from there. So you, you should draw. Why have you not drawn a card yet? Because you're talking so much. So go. <laughs> Please tell me we recorded the auditions. We did record the auditions. Um, unbeknownst to everybody, and they will be going out as bonus content <laughs> at some point in the future. It's your go. Is it my go? I believe it's my go. My commander is not on the battlefield as yet. I will draw a card. I will like that card a lot. Then I will do this amazing thing, and I will play a swamp. I will then tap that swamp, and I will play this thing. I don't know if you guys have heard of this card, but it's called Witch's Oven. No. <laughs> That'll go up in that corner there, and then I will pass the turn. Cool. I'm going to draw. Are I'll you, play are you? Uh, Lonely Sandbar. Tapped. Lonely sandbar. And I'll pass. 
Yes, dive school Join. is where you got your dive mask, your DM qualification. <laughs> Apply this one, then pass. Oh, it is you, it is you. Sorry, sorry, I was actually looking at my hand. Roll up the characters and then the DM smokes them, something like that. <laughs> 10th Street Eggy says, so lonely. Who's lonely? Why are you lonely? I'm lonely. Mustn't be lonely. Don't be lonely. Steal over zero. Ooh, that's early. It's a two drop. That is early. That sure. makes things really big. Yeah, okay. It's a two drop. Leave it alone. It's I didn't am I touching it? I haven't done anything. Calm. Hold your roll there. The sandbar is so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. I shall now play a forest. It's a very pretty forest. And then I shall tap the twain of these lands and play upon to the battlefield. The Blood Artist. Oh. The Blood Artist is a 0-1 creature I'm vampire. Going. Whenever Blood Artist or another creature dies, target player loses one life and I gain one life. Mwah. Your go. No. Crispy, did I survive the heavy song you sent me? I haven't listened to it yet because the previous one was pretty heavy. And if this one's heavier, I'll need time to, you know, digest. All right, Mesa. I'll crack it and get a shock land. Here, shock land. Where are you? Here, Here shocky, shocky. shocky. Here, shock land. Oh, no. Now you're going to bring all the Alsatians. <laughs> no, I don't want you to bring. 10th Street, Eggy, it's not Monday morning. Did Crispy say she just go turn one oven and turn two blood artists? In his sack deck, return of the great decks for show. Yes, I seriously went turn one oven, turn two blood artist. What I'll do on turn three, only the gods know. Because I don't have a clue. <laughs> Tap to Stronic Resonator. Oh, that's a Stronic Resonator. Ooh, that that's a Stronic, stronic Resonator. I was going to say, that, that Stronic Resonator has new artwork. I'll pass. <laughs> Yeah, it's the tentacle nice. Stronic Resonator. <laughs> okay, we've got to watch out for that Stronic Join Resonator. Okay. It's going to make, make uh, abilities duplicate. Activated abilities, and yes. More yeah. wins coming no, out. Uh, triggered abilities. Triggered abilities, there we go. Gotcha. Yeah. What, what's coming out? Oh, no. Uh, rat, my first rat is his rat name colony. is Marvin. There's a rat okay. colony. Dr. Death says, and Yoli ah, is playing threats. Artifactoids, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I'm playing Artifactoids. There are Artifactoids. Artifactoids. <laughs> Apparently. Indeed, to goodness, gravy juice, I am giving sack. I shall play a study hall. A study hall. Yeah, you know, why not, eh? And then, I shall play... Put a three. German flavor on Ricardo's favorite line in Magic. Und then. <laughs> <laughs> and then. The Vati who? The Foundry Inspector. Foundry Inspector. Oh, Foundry Inspector. yes, you're getting wow. a good start today. Jeez, like, okay. Nice. Everybody's, Everybody's got some gas at the moment. Yes. Especially the dog. Yes, the dog is very happy. <laughs> Ooh, and then I shall. Ooh, yes, why not? Uh, ba -ba -doo -doo, haven't got a clue where they are. You know what? I'm just going to borrow this for now. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Keeps. I had to go find So I'm going Oh, to... here they are. Oh, well, never mind. I've got up. <laughs> I found them. I found them. I'm going to tap a human and put a 1 1 counter on the other artifact creature I control. Yay. And pass. Nice. Hmm. Mm. I shall untap. And I shall draw that card. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> what, did you club something? Well, I dropped the top card under the... Well, the second card got dropped onto the battlefield, but it, you know, it was one of those things. I'm going to throw an Adam, an Adam special. Ooh, he cheating. <laughs> That's me. I'm the big cheater. Hold on a sec now. Tell you what I'm going to do. Just so everybody's aware of what I'm planning. I'm going to play another snow-covered swamp. Then. And then. And then. And then. The next thing that I will do. 
is, I will say, it is your turn, Ryan. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Little I'll little play Come on. Don't beacon. do it, Bigger Clausen. Oh, oh. You see, I'm not the only one who What's up, three? <laughs> Fox Club. Basic lands in a deck Crispin is playing? <laughs> Chasm Skulkin. Shh. Don't I'll tell play... anybody. Chasm Skulkin Pulse. So whenever I draw a card, Chasm Skulkin gets a plus one, plus one. That's not good. That is not good. No. I want you to kill your Chasm Skulker. How do I do this? With a card. This is also a true. Don't do it. I think I may have to. Oh, play, just play land and boss. Ooh. <gasps> no, what is going on? Why is the red colony only doing that? I am now nervous. Sack fodder for Mr. K. That is correct. Oh, okay. Well, I shall only take the Yes, yes. Yes, looky at Cardi. You looky at that Cardi. <laughs> This is eerie. No, no, it was a rat. And then, and then, and then. Yes, I like this. And then, and then, 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 we shall play. We shall play? Yes. Would you like to play a game? How about that game of chess? I do. I do. Thank you. Let's move this back up the way. There, I shall play Pilgrim's Eye. My goodness. When it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into my hand, and then shuffle. Just careful, Yoli's in a very strange mood. She may slip into her Dexter voice <gasps> no, any minute now. I'm not gonna do that. I won't. I won't do that Dexter <laughs> Really? You just did? I so didn't. I put another one on him. Okay. Oh, I can put it on all of them. Mm. That's more spectacular. Let's do that. That's okay. I pass. Yeah, While I look for a land. Hold on. Oh, well, the guy at the bottom. Uh, and and it puts one on uh, him on the steel overseer. Yeah, on steel overseer. So the steel overseer, overseer yeah. should have two on it as well. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, no, no, it four. says on each artifact creature you control. Righty, oh, sorry, I did miss that. Thank you very much, Ed. Oh, you passed. Okay. I did. I shall draw that card that no one saw. Well, I didn't think that anybody wanted to watch me go find the land. I mean, seriously. Now we'll play that okay. card, and just to prove Cora wrong, we'll play a. Castle Embrith tapped. Because, <laughs> you know, I have enough basic lands in here. <sighs> and unfortunately, I'm going to have to say, Ryan, it's your turn. So you get to draw a card and you get to put a, a counter on your, your jobby watts that's over there. Oh, yeah. Woo. I'm doing it once again, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play mm. a Spire of Industry. Uh -huh. I'll tap one, take a life damage. <laughs> Ten Street tap says, all red. This land go is so suspicious. Very sus. We're all sus. I'll play Goblin Welder. Goblin Welder. Choose target artifact to play. Oh, nice. I love artifact that. In their graveyard. If both targets are still legal as this ability resolves, that player simultaneously sacrifices the artifact and returns the artifact card to the battlefield. Oh. Yeah, switch the artifact. Interesting. I'll pass. We do get very okay, worried cool. when, when Cora does that. I'm not even going to lie. When Cora plays land and passes, we all get worried. Yeah, very nervous. Yeah. Okay, drawing for two. Very, very suspicious. This land. <laughs> very suspicious. I will pay one. Uh huh. For dark ritual, giving me three. Oof. Ryan. Yo. Would you mind moving the counter on your on your on your artifact creature there for a moment? Three. Yes, it doesn't want to click. Oh, okay. <coughs> well, okay cool. I played Magus of the Coffers. Um what is it? And I'll pass. Chasm Skull. It, it just M Magus of the Coffers. It's uh, I can pay two and tap it to add a, um, a black mana for every swamp I control. Oh. Oh. I like Magus of the Coffers. Wow, that is nice. That's me. Tends to fuck up for very good reason. Yes, for very good reason. <laughs> very good reason. Yeah, very good. 
Writings on the wall. That's right, Tim Street. I do actually love that song. Sorry. Very superstitious. What? Oh, I shall play a Wu-Tang. Okay, who sang that song originally? Who sang that song? Come on. Are you asking to at least say The Wu-Tang Clan. I'm asking clan. everybody. The Wu-Tang Clan. No. Well, do not say the Wu-Tang Clan. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. Aussie. Stevie is correct. Well done, Tin Street. Tin yeah. Street's winning. Okay, no, this uh, Oscar Dick can, can get out of hand very, very quick. Yeah, no, what is happening right now? Nothing. Shh, keep talking. Moving on. Good grief. Untap. Draw. Gosh darn it. I can't do that. Why? why? Can't you do I that? just I just can't do that, okay? Why can't you do that? Because I can't right now. Just, just I just can't. But I'm gonna do that instead. Look, another basic forest. I'm just messing with Cora's head right now. I'm I'm doing it on purpose. So that next time I play Cora, she'll be like, Will he have basics? Won't he? Will he? Won't he? <laughs> Well, you know, that's just, that's kind of how we roll. So we're going to go, hmm. Land is not a land unless it does weird things. Not yet. Maybe we were, maybe we were, we were, mm, if I do that, I put a target on myself. Is that not how this game goes? But I'm worried about things on this battlefield. Why? Because there are things on the battlefield worth worrying about. Yet. We're all being very friendly. Yeah, you're being just wonderfully friendly. I am going to... Not do anything nasty to the woman you live with. Pastor Ryan. That's a good idea. Bloody mm, end of your right. turn. You Chris refuse TV. to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I see mm. a blood moon rising. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Are you? Quickly. Are you really? What's the worst? Well, <laughs> what are you thinking the worst? about? <laughs> I'm gonna chaos warp Osgear. What? <gasps> no, what is that? Sorry. So you can shuffle him back into your library. Obviously, you can choose to send him to one zone. And then you flip the top card of your library if it's a permanent and put it on the battlefield. There you go. So he goes back to the command zone. You flip the top card and then library. shuffle your library. You shuffle it. Shuffle it first. Sorry. <laughs> oh shit! I'm dropping stuff. Sorry. Don't drop stuff and don't drop swear words on our family-friendly stream, shit. woman. Sorry. She's like, you know, some people, you know, can't take them anywhere. Oh, no. Especially not on stream. Okay. Okay. I shuffled my library now. Now I put it back and you flip the top one. You reveal the top card. I reveal the top card. If it's a permanent, you may put it onto the battlefield. Okay. It's an enchantment. I can put it onto the battlefield. You can. What is it? What is it? Monologue text. It's monologue text. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels See? good to do like multiple spells in a turn, guys. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's the, the rules of chaos. Yes. Plan arcane signets. Who did you threaten cool. with the from the ashes? Who? Core is threatening people um, from the ashes. I shall pause. Cool. I'm tapping, drawing for turn. Okay. I think the rest of it. I will tap two and my Magus yes. to add five mana. And out comes the Marinoir. No, not yet. Uh, and add an additional one, and I'll bring out Ratcatcher. Um, and that shall be my turn, I'll pass. Oh, fear. Okay. Uh, you, know, you may search your library for a rat card, reveal it. Fear is weird what you can't block them. Can't, it can't be blocked by anything except black or artifact. Is that right? Oh, that's no, yeah. just black. Yeah, just black. Yeah. Black. 
Yeah, Blick. But don't worry, he's he's just for support. I'm not gonna attack anyone. Uh -huh. really. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. no, no, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> he's so funny. This guy. There to support with his fists. <laughs> You're counting stuff. Well, yes. Oh, but actually, it's just exactly enough. <laughs> 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 Guess who's back? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, oh, jeez. Okay, these artifacts are getting kind of huge, and that thing's flying. Yes, it is. Wait. Where's the four? Anyway. Black and artifact. That's what I thought. Ah. Yeah. Mm. That's what I thought. <laughs> and so the explaining begins please leave my stuff alone it does nothing says bigger closet <laughs> personally <laughs> personally i think he's lying <laughs> i should yes. draw a card they're only little rats they won't eat you alive it really is not working out the way i need it to by the way your dog is trying to kill me with chemical warfare really yes. terribly sorry <sighs> Okay, um... I am having the strugglings. Oh. Yeah. Put okay. your three on him. Yeah. I'll tap five. Play Ooh, something my, big is coming. My Zender splits. So Zender split says at the beginning of your combat, of your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a flip coin, a coin flip, draw a card. Mm. Nice. So I'll go to combat. <laughs> Dr. Death. And you will flip a coin. I'm what is the... odds on my dice? So it's even odds or evens. I'll choose odds. That is not an odd. That's an even you lost. <laughs> That's an even I lost again. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Cool. Um, so I don't play coin toss decks. <laughs> um, no, what? Yeah. There was that one at coin tossing mark. vampire thing. What, the tavern swindler thing? Um, that ever, yeah, no, I don't know. Whatever, yeah. that silly card that you could gain six life from, I never won a single toss on that card. Okay. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to search my library for a rat card. I say rat colony. It was the top card of my library, so I'm not going to shuffle. Then I'm going to draw for turn. Fine. Then, again, again. <laughs> again. Have we learned nothing from the bubonic plague, says Tin Street? No, we haven't. Clearly, we don't. We have not learned. Mm. I'll pay two. I will tap Magus for five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll bring out Marrow Noir. Then I shall tap... Um, Three, so no, no, no two, only two. Have, yeah. and I'll bring out um, ravenous rats. When ravenous rats comes into play, target opponent discards a card from his or her hand. I don't like targeting. One or two is your life. Three and four is Crispin, and five and six is Visions. It is three, so Crispy, you get to discard a card. I shall discard a witch's cottage. Cool. And um, yeah, that's my turn. This guy lets you go find any rat. Mm
homeless witch. Who's a homeless witch? What is happening? What the hell? Woof. Fly, five, five, flying haste. Yes. Okay, stuff just got real, peeps. It got very real. Yep. Ah, the witch who lives in the witch's cottage. Yes, but where is her cat? I'm wondering the same thing, bigger class. Well, she probably, you know, put it in the oven and it's no longer a cat. It's now, you know, a charred kitty. And, uh, and you are? <laughs> I'm going to... Hold on a second. Sorry, we need to go backwards. Why? What did because you, you missed a trigger on your monologue tax. Because Ricardo cost two spells. <gasps> you should have a treasure yeah. token. Yes, sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, where's my treasure token? What is it? I have a treasure token. Yay. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, totally missed that. Um, okay, let's see. Mm. With Mosquid Nexus TM, you can make your dreams real, says Fox Club. <laughs> what? Mosquid Nexus, it's the, uh, if I'm right, it's the card that makes every, every creature, every creature type. Yep. So I will fly the pilgrim's eye. Come on, around. Beginning with what? <laughs> <laughs> At Ricardo. And the Hellcat is okay. right here. Yeah. Ryan, have you got any flyers? No. Oh, that's right. Cool, I took five. Five yeah, damage. Took five. Five. I took five as well. Uh, at the end of your turn, yes. I'm going to pay four, including two black, and I am going to bake Ricardo's rat catcher into a pie. No! I needed my uh, rat catcher. And then I'm going to create a food token, which I, of course, do not have right now. Uh, do you want just like a random token? I'll just take a, I know what, a, you know, we all know what food tokens do, so... Ah, give me this thing. There we go. That's a food token. <laughs> and then I shall untap the turn. At the beginning of my turn, I shall draw a card. <sighs> so I'm looking down instead of emblem, I read embolism. I'm like, never mind. You know what? It's just one of those. Oh, and the creature died. So, um, let's see. Yola, Hello? you lose one life and I gain one life. You're wonderful and I love you very much. <laughs> so play a Field of the Dead <laughs> tap. Oh, that tap. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's the wrong bloody color, but it's great. And then I shall pay. Would you like a food token? I found one, them. Sure. Two, three, and four to play Vraskwa, Golgari Queen. And I will plus two her without sacrificing a per Well, in fact, I will plus two her, sacrifice the food token I just got, gain one life, and draw a card. Nice. And then I will. Past turn. Cool, I'll on top. Turn to tap four. I also play Planeswalker. Doretti. Yeah. Sc scrap Savant. Uh, scrap. <laughs> I'm going to use yeah. plus two. I, we can't really do anything about Yoli's audio at the moment, I'm afraid. The microphone we bought to fix the problem we had uh, has created a second problem. So we'll just try and get her to speak up a bit. I can yell. <laughs> Is that better if she yells? Fox Club, are you I'll struggling to hear two. me? 
fruit here. I'll play Fable Passage. Okay. Take it. I'm going to Tin Street says yelling helps. Okay. Goblin Welder, sucking Stronic Resonator, getting back Cork's thumb. Hmm. Okay. Nice. So Cox Thumb said, if you would flip a coin, instead flip two of those coins and ignore one. I'm going to sack my fables. Find Pokemon lands. Dr. Death, not even? What do you mean by not even? Not even what? Are you, are you still struggling to hear people? Gonna shuffle. I'll go to combat, trigger Zender split. Yep. I'm gonna choose odd, so I throw two dice and ignore one. I'll get an odd. I'll choose an odd, so I'll draw. Yeah. Uh I'll flip till I lose, so that's what Zender Split says. I'll choose odd again. That's odd. That's says yelling not, not helping. Odd, so I'll draw. <laughs> You're gonna freaking get a ton of cards. I'm going to choose odd again, so that's even, that's an odd, I'll draw. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's insane. That's I'm insane. going to choose odd. No, that's done. Okay, do you have more than seven cards in hand? Uh, nope. Okay. Oh, that was lucky. I shall pass the turn. Okay. Now, I can't say search for a rat because my rat catcher is gone. I will draw for turn. I will tap Magus of the Coffers, paying two, giving me five mana. I will use two of those mana to add another rat colony. Okay, and I will use another two of the five to play Thornbite Staff. Trigger Yola. And then... Uh, I'm just going to check what Thornbite does. Come on, show me. Yola, that's require it... a second spell. You get to uh, make a treasure token. Okay. Just seeing if it's like a, a combo or something. I think there is a combo with it, but I don't think it's in this deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, okay, it. awesome. Then I shall um, pay the one remaining from the five and four extra to equip Thornbite Staff to my Marrow Noir. Uh, that's probably the combo. <laughs> then I will sacrifice a rat and create two more rats. And because... Oh, a creature oh. went to the graveyard, I get to untap Maranor. And I get, so now I have four rats. So I have infinite amount of rats now. So, yeah, I'm going to create 6,785,463,223 rats. Um, like that. And then I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should, uh, unless anybody's got, well, I suppose we see what we draw, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much where we live, right? <laughs> well, um, Visions has amazing card draws, so yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I could draw into a, a board wipe, probably. Or a, a cyclonic rift in this deck? No. Okay. 
And my board wipes are, are silly, so it's going to be good fun. What's good says he made a zoom a number of rats. <laughs> <laughs> and eleven to twelve million four hundred and forty one billion eight hundred and eleven to eleven and a half. <laughs> that was Tin Street. Yes. That was indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna pay two to play sculpting steel. And it's going to come in as a copy of Pilgrim's Eye. So it's now a flying copter. One one. Yeah, I know it's a one one. And you draw a card. You get to I go get find to a land. Yes, I know. I'll go find a land. In a moment. Uno momento, por favor. No. Yes. Well, we're going to die in a por favor moment. Why? Because Ricardo has a gazillion, million, trillion, bazillion rats with fear. Yes. Who is this one? What is giving them fear? Um. <laughs> The commander. Ah, that one. I think without fear, we're probably still dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's over six million rats. A billion. Oh, sorry, over a billion rats. Six billion, yeah. <laughs> where is your uh, in the deck? I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? It was baked into a pie and eaten. No, um, so if I was to get rid of his commander, just like, I know it's brief, but you know, would that help at all? No, no? you need a board wipe. The only thing that saves uh, us is a board yeah. wipe. Yeah. Hoot, unfortunately, I don't have one of those. Well, I do, but it's not in hand. Well, and we can see I... your hand now. Uh, it's going to make a difference. <laughs> no, because we're all going to die. Exactly. So I'm just going to dabble do what I want to do. Do what you want to do. I'm going to do it. Because we want to get, we want to be free. <laughs> we want to be free to do what we want to do. Yeah. We want to have a good time. Freedom. We're going to get loaded. Freedom. Okay, so I'm going to play like one and two because things cost one less. And I'm going to equip my Sword of Vengeance. Oh, wait, I have to pay another two to do Yes, you got to pay. Boros okay. Charm, that would be good. Oh, it's fine. No, see, it's not enough. Well, yeah, um, Gugori Charm would also, not Rakdos Charm, would kill Ricardo very, very dead. Yeah. And then since I'm going out anyway, well, you see, if you do board wipe, I don't have a board no, I'm just saying, if anybody does board wipe, <laughs> that um, gives Austin an awful lot of water. Um, I'm going to kill somebody with like 6 million damage. Well, you, <laughs> yeah, you can kill like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, since we're going to go out, I'm going to go out with a little bit of fun. Oh, hang on. That okay. one's got summon and anonymous sickness. Yeah, but I'm moving him out the way. Oh, okay. Just got to Vorpal Sword, someone in draft. It feels good. It goes snicker snack. <laughs> and with it, what, and with its head, he left it. Did you go galumphing back, Cora? Did you go galumphing back? He left it dead, and with its head, he went galumphing back. There we go. Look what I've got, my pretties. Not in this deck, but look what I've got, my pretties. There's a Vorpal Sword. It's very Christmas. A very pretty Vorpal Sword. So I will fly both of these at Ricardo because if he's going to kill us with a whole bunch of rats, I might as well hit him in the face first. Go for so it. That would be a 6-6 six, six and a 7-5 in the air. And what have you equipped sure. to your 5-5? Five, five? It is a Sword of Vengeance. A Sword of Vengeance. Yes, so it gives equipped creature, gets plus 2, plus 0, and has first strike. Oh, Vigilance. Vigilance, Trample, trample and haste. and haste. So it didn't even need to tap. Didn't tap. need to tap, so there we go. So that was, that was okay, a uh, I took 11. I will untap and pray. For a board wipe. Well, it doesn't really, uh, the only board wipe I've got in this deck, I can't afford to cast. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. So my really? <sighs> okay, well, I guess. We'll play a snow covered swampy. Look, more basics. You see what happens when I put basics in my deck, Cora? Jeez. Uh, 
Okay, I'm good. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna pay one to play a Witch's Cauldron. I'm then going to plus two Vraska, sacrificing the Witch's Cauldron, well, destroying the Witch's Cauldron, to gain one life and draw a card. And amazingly enough, that doesn't bloody help me either. Um, instead, what I will do is tap everything <laughs> and play Liliana Dreadhorde General. Oh, nice. Yeah, it doesn't help, Bri. doesn't help right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need a few billion blockers. I need a few billion blockers so I can make one. Uh, won't you pass you me, me a, a, a zombie? You can make me sacrifice two of my rats. Uh, That's yes, terrible. No, no, I don't want to do that. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so there's a zombie. There's a 2-2 two -two zombie. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. No, yes. The they should be in the front over there on the other side. Right, no, in the no, sleeves. Separately. Anyway. Two oh, two okay. <laughs> right, two two zombie. Yay. Um then I will pass the turn and hope Ryan can draw into a board wipe. Well, I'll draw. That's not a board wipe. <laughs> it's not what we want to hear, Ryan. It's not what we want to hear. I'm sorry. I need to think on how I can draw more cards as well. I'll plus the ready. I will discard a Soul Ring and a Skyclave Relic. So I'll draw two. It's gone so quiet. Everybody's mm. waiting with bated breath. Bated breath to see if it's. To see if, if Ryan I can do it. draw into this board wipe. Cool. So let's let's start rolling, I guess. I need to think like how, how much mana I can hold for my board wipe to think which one can I draw into. I think it's like positive board mana. wipe thoughts, positive board wipe thoughts. I'm holding pants. I'm holding pants. Board wipe, board wipe. I'm holding Croc's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I need to think, oh, man. Okay, let's go to combat. I'll go odds. Come on. Wait. No. Oh, my oh, soul. Come on. Oh. Is that it? Yep. Yep. That's it. It's... Okay, we did. Um, I'll tap three. I'll cast Fiery Gambit. Flip a coin until you lose a flip or choose to stop flipping. If you lose a flip, Fiery Gambit has no effect. If you won, one or more flips, Fire Gambit deals 3 damage to target creature. If you win 2 or more flips, Fire, damage, fire Gambit deals 6 damage to each opponent. And if I win 3 or more flips, I draw 9 cards and I untap all my lands. <laughs> yes, that's a win yeah, card. Draw, like draw, come on, we win 3 and you still got the ability to, to roll 2 for each one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll go... Odds, I, I still like odds. Okay. Even. Okay, you get Come on. Again? Yes! Okay, it's odd. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'll draw a card. So this is the first one. That's one. Second one, I'll choose odds. Okay, it's, it is, it wasn't odd, I promise. I did not okay, tamper with it. Okay, that's two. I'm just going to make sure I'm, I need to draw two. So I'll draw. I'll choose odds again. Oh, even. Come on! It's odds, it's odds. Draw nine. <laughs> and in untap all your hands. To, I'll tap for four. 
And then I'll untap. Yeah. I'll draw nine cards. One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, this seven, is crazy. You can't seven, eight. Not to the to the actual. Well, then it's fine. Um, I'll just have. So no no four. So it'll only be six though. Well, that's fine. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, can I do this? Did 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 you did you whiff or did have you, I done did, this? Did we get lucky? Ricard is actually going to lose the game because of my next card. I oh, know. <laughs> so I got nine extra counters as well because I drew nine cards. Holy cow. How big is that thing now? It is a... Eight, nine... It's an 1818. Phew. Okay. So I'm going to tap this thing. Sack this. Get back Soul Ring. So we can do it. Yeah. Somehow I feel like you're ganging up on me. Actually. <laughs> I can't imagine why, why Mr. Billion, Billion Rats. <laughs> Are you the reason there was the bubonic plague? <laughs> I just have enough mana. Oh, my soul. I just made it. Up cost warp world. What does that do? So it's so it's you know chaos warp. Imagine chaos warp for your whole board. Each player shuffles all permanents he or she controls into his or her library, then reveals that many cards from the top of his or her library. Each player puts all artifacts, creatures, and land cards revealed this way into play, then puts all enchantment cards revealed this way into play, then puts the rest in the bottom of his or her library. So you don't get to put creatures back. Oh, you do. Yes. Okay. Right, no, you so, do. So hold on. <sighs> All permanents. We still might die. Yeah. So it's lands as well. Oh wow, so it's everything back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What happens to like the things that can't go back in? They just get dead. Okay, so before that happens They technically get shuffled shuffled in, but you can still flip that amount. In response. So Ricardo's gonna flip. Oh, so mm -hmm. I can still like flip for my my two treasure tokens. In response, I'm going yeah. to tap my witch's oven, sacrifice my zombie, deal one damage to Ricardo and gain one life. Then I'm going to draw a card off of Liliana for having a creature die. Um, and that will be that. And now I will shuffle everything back in. Okay, well, that's okay, nice. so... so In other words, I'm going to shuffle, I'm going to get to um reveal a card for each each one of my six billion rats and my library is going to be empty and i'm gonna lose the game no, correct? You're, so you're still gonna have your instant and sorceries in your deck okay cool. perfect yeah six, seven, eight, nine, okay. 10, 11. so i've got 11 cards that i'm shuffling back in i've got 12. that's not your command obviously no and does that include what's in your hand no no okay so it's no. everything else Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, although I actually have six billion, so I'm going to go through my whole deck and basically put everything on the battlefield. Pretty much. Except so it's unfortunately it's not a a board wipe as, as such, but it doesn't kill us instantly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Fox Club, sorry, Fox Club says no. Yep. What would would you explain? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's great. We're we're chill. Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe it will take too long. To Maybe it's one of those like big explanations that you need it's to like, like sit down for. And yes, yeah, so next week on Commanders, we finish the explanation. No to Ricardo asking if he would be decked. There you go. Okay. And then what was the yet? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we, it's, we've moved past that now. Yes, I know. It's <laughs> going to be like 2,000 years later. We'll okay. Oh. Okay, well, let's see what happens. So now we do what? 
can reveal we reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Each player puts all artifact, creature, and land cards revealed their way onto the battlefield. And right, does so, the so same we, for so enchantment we, cards. What is there, okay, so Ricardo's already doing that. Yeah, I'm going to probably be first since... Well, Ricardo's probably first, actually, because he's on, first on the stack. After me. And then Yola, and then me, and then you. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think that's how... I'm always confused with, like... With, uh, commander okay. Are we assuming stacks. that Ricardo is getting to put absolutely everything except instances of sorceries all, onto the onto Yeah, the board? all creatures. Yeah, that's how it's going to happen. Okay, so while he's doing that, you're looking start as well then, I guess, because his is going to take a while. Okay, then I can put lands on. Yeah. So let's start with the lands. So yeah, lands, enchantments, creatures, artifacts, except planeswalkers, instance, planes sorceries. Okay, so yeah. some of the effects of my... Um, in guys I'm taking out is burglar rat so you each discard a card and each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by two okay and we reveal those cards huh yeah there's the cat bigger class and No, they get into the, the library. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom of library. Okay, well. <laughs> Where's the oven? <laughs> <laughs> Enchantments enter last so they can enchant stuff. Okay. Makes sense. Artifacts, do they go on? They go on onto the battlefield? Yeah. So artifact, creature, and land cards go into play first. Okay, so artifact, creature, and yeah. land cards. Yeah. No, spark double, why are you you're so useless? Okay, so you just die. Good God, look at Ricardo's board. <laughs> <laughs> Except that he gets to play next. We're all dead anyway. Yeah. I've, I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a sneaky plan. If it works, it's going to be very funny. If it doesn't work, it's it's still funny. Can I get a... Ah, yeah, it's adamantium. <laughs> Okay, so I have Whip of Erebus on the board, so all creatures I control have lifelink as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many cards on your hand, Ricardo? Um, I have, okay, so this is my library. I'm just shuffling the few that are left. Um, in my hand, I have three cards. Okay, how much in your library? How many in my library? I have one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah. The man can dream. <laughs> yeah, and the problem is is Ricardo could just make infinite rats again by playing uh, I mean he can just equip that thing to his commander and Yeah. You you didn't draw any extra cards from your triggers. Ricardo? Um no. None that I can see. Okay, so here's the question. It's mainly just rats. Here's the question. Does anyone have a board wipe that can take care of Ricardo's Instant board, board wipe? Well, no. Not an instant one. 
I'm gonna. This is my plan. I'm gonna play to face puzzle box. Oh, nice. And I'll pass the turn. I'm just need to discard. And I'll pass. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to put the three cards at the bottom of my library and draw three cards. Two. Uh, four. So you draw your first card as well. Oh, of course, yeah. No. Four. You got treasure tokens there in the tokens box. Yeah. Can I have a couple? <laughs> Okay, cool. So out of all my artifacts, um, I have Throne of the God Pharaoh as well. So it says at the beginning of your instep, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control as well. Um, my rats are now uh, one, two, three, four, extremely five, large. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ricardo, please 17, tell me when you move to combat, yeah? Just well before you move to combat. A fog would now be so funny. It's about 40 40 each. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, each of my rat colonies and relentless rats, that is. Oh, no, that's my. That's my All Ricardo's graveyard. creatures are active, right? I mean, they don't have summoning sickness or anything like that. Yeah, since mm -hmm. it happened in my turn. It happened in your turn, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I will pay. We die from from like normal rats and not tokens. <laughs> Adam's cross um, with you, right? He says he missed his potch farewell. I'm sorry. I'm on stream, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll pay three, and that is. Um, Tainted Remedy I'm just going to play. So if you would gain life, uh, if an opponent would gain life, they lose that much life rather. Mm -hmm. And um, then I'll, I will move to combat, okay. Crispy. In response to before you move to combat, I'm Yay. going to pay two. And two. To cast unexpected windfall, I will discard Zelfram Void. I will draw two cards. I will create two treasure tokens. Oh boy, and I didn't get what I was hoping for. Okay, so you may continue to kill us dead. <laughs> okay, so I'll send one. Shall we just assume that we all die and reshuffle and start again? Two, four, or do you want five, or do you, or do you want to kill us? <laughs> um, no, no, no. We can just see. Maybe you guys can do something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's cruel. That's cruel. I'm just happy. I actually managed to feel on my board. I won't be able to do anything. I pushed my luck as far as I can go, probably, with my deck. Okay, so they're, they're just 29 29s, okay? Um, just. And there are how many of them? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I'll send. Um, yeah, I must just think this through. How many permanents, blocking permanents, do you have, Yola? Nine, yeah. sure. I got lucky. I do peach it. Okay. I'll send 10 29 29s to you. Crispy, how many blockers do you have? Three. Three. Okay, cool. I'll, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll send six 29 29s to you. You or my let's make it seven. Why not? Why not make it eight? Let's just go. Three, 
four, five, six, seven. I'll send seven to visions. Um, just before combat, I'm just going to pay five from Soul of New Phyrexia to give all my rats um, indestructible. And um, cool. Good and man. then let's just send another two to your law, just to be sure. So it's 11. Uh, uh, okay. So that's when I die. Anything? Well, okay. <laughs> I'm dead. GG's. GG's. I'm okay, cool. <laughs> Guys, this is the fourth time I've played this deck. The first time I've drawn Thornbite staff. Uh, apologies if that was extremely irritating, but I'm just so glad it happened once. Dude. <laughs> It was well played. This was the bubonic play. It was just there. Kamikaze Badger is very happy. GG rats, he says. <laughs> it's only 20 past nine. You keen to go again? Yeah, we can see if somebody else's deck actually manages to outlast the rats. Well, the chances of me getting those exact cards again is zero. So, But I'm all for another game. Yeah, I'll play another. Cool. All right, cool. Shuffle up. Shuffle up. The deck did the thing, says Tin Street. Yes, it did. It did, it did that thing that it does when it's rats. And they go everywhere. The rats did make rat things happen. You have to get back to work. Good luck, Dr. Death. It was so good, good having you in stream. While we're doing this, uh, let's talk about what we're going to do next week. So, Foxglove, I, I know you're like there. But uh, do you want me to talk about it here in, in terms of vocalizing it? Or do you want to just type it up for chat to read? How do you want to do it? I mean, I could vocalize it. I have a voice. <laughs> I'm hoping that people can hear me. Okay, so there's a form that you guys need to have a look at, chat. That form will give you a bunch of options for each of our players for next week's game. You need to fill in our form so that we know what decks you want us to play from the choices available to you. And who you want to have play. And who you want to have play. So, take a look at the form, pick the players, pick the decks. You guys are deciding what happens next week. Go ahead, make that happen. Do the things. Do the things with the things. I think this is a very cool idea. Mm. Yeah, then we get to know what our audience likes. And also, who they want to have die next week. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get to choose the players, just decks. Okay, just choose the decks then. Well, there you go. That, that was, you have an answer, a good one to watch. What's the answer? <laughs> Bigger Clausen says, see, you're allowed to see people. Of course we're allowed to see people. Also, a case of which decks have we still got? <laughs> which decks have we still got in a workable order? Fox Club, I almost deleted it as an option. Come on, what? Why is there so much hate for my Sea People deck? It's a tribal deck. There are more than twenty merfolk in that deck. Means it's a tribal deck. I dropped my cards on the floor. Why did you do that? I love the sing song. I dropped my cards on the floor. They went down the drain. I I Tabletop Gaming SA goes, modern! Good for you. Good for you. This isn't modern. This so is Commander. Modern. This is real magic. What do you think? <laughs> 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 yes, look what this hand is doing while the other hand is doing something else. You know what? I am going to keep that hand. I would keep this hand if it included mana. Oh, my, 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 my thingy is gone. My camera is gone completely banana faced. So we'll just do that. There we go. What do you mean it's not tribal? How can it not be tribal? It's I don't called, understand. It's the seafood platter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why people are anti my sea people dick. I don't see why they can say that. Because it is has more than twenty merfolk in it. Therefore it is tribal, according to the description of what a tribal deck is that I found online. Yeah, 
What's, what's the minimum number of creatures to be considered tribal? 20. 20, okay, cool. So, what's the minimum? But I don't have. But they all live in. But I don't have 20 sea people, I have 20 merfolk, so technically it's a merfolk deck. As I have always said. It's the surf and turf deck, <laughs> says Bigger Clausen. Well, this is not the walking dead. Cool. Zoe says, sure, and I found a description online that said it was two. Well, then you found the wrong one. <laughs> Come on. I'm ready to, to roll some dice again. Let's randomize. I'm going to randomize twice again. One. Oh, can you just hold on? I haven't got mana yet. Two. I'm just, I'm just doing the randomize thing. That's all. One, two, three. That's right, Zoe. Everyone out there is entitled to their wrong opinions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on, okay, I'm ready. Uh, did we randomize? Yeah, we did. And you're okay, first, well, Code Monkey. So let's reset, everybody. Cool. Uh, cool. I will draw. I'm just going to reset. Hold on, I'm resetting. Ah, oh, we got to put in our commanders again. Oh, poo. Okay. Does have any idea how hard it is? Sideways, I know it's like the craziest thing, but it is recorded to go. Cool. Oh, I just played a swamp and I'm passing. Alrighty, I will draw for turn. And I shall play a forest for turn. And then I shall pass. I shall draw for turn and I shall look at it and go, oh, thank you, God. Yes, you are, Crispy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I like you, Zoe. <laughs> I'll draw. Ooh, that's the options one. for next week are very nice. Can't wait to see what happens, says Lioness of the Veil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will say that this idea Let me came from board. Taps. Again. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> poor old sandbar is so lonely. It's very lonely. Playing a swampy... Uh, casting the sorcery lab rats. No, I'm actually don't do that. I'm going to play two and play throne of the god pharaoh and pass. Okay, I shall draw for turn. <clears throat> I shall play a snow covered mountain. I shall tap two. And I shall play a Golgari Signet. And unfortunately, Run Rabbit has heard the call of nature. <laughs> so we need to give her a moment. Yes, tabletop Vatokal is Lee and Benji. You should delegate your reply. It's your go, Yola. <laughs> I am not a signet. You're a signet. Yes, Run Rabbit did run. She ran. I did. Did you hear me? Just come, 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 come. <laughs> uh, well, this was not a great hand, so I'm going to do that passing thing. You do so well. Come on, up. I'll play mountain. <laughs> you heard a rabbit running. Tap one. <laughs> Tabletop Sorry. gaming essay says oh, they're no. learning how to command stuff. Awesome. Goblin Festival. What? What? Goblin Festival does one damage to target creature or player. Flip a coin. If you lose the flip, choose one of your opponents. That player <laughs> gains control of Goblin Festival. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. <laughs> I want some Goblin Festival. I'll pass. That is interesting. No, no, we're not going to give you any Goblins at midnight. <laughs> still, I've got that stuck in my head. Stop it. Player relentless red stepping three and passing. Mm, I shall untap. I shall draw a card. Shall you? I shall. I have already. And there's nothing you can do about it. Want a bet? <laughs> okay, so I'm going okay. to. You're going to. Pay one. To tap Golgari Signet for a black and a green. 
then I'm going to pair green to play Roiling Regrowth, sacrificing the forest to find two basic lands. Basic lands, Cora. Basic. <laughs> but you see what happened when I played basic lands. I lost horribly. <laughs> Blaming the basic lands. Absolutely. One of those basic lands will be a snow covered swampy. Another one of those basic lands will be a pretty foresty. And then I will. A, a Golgoi rock form for turn, returning the forest to my hand and pass, and I will shuffle. Right, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Ooh, yay, hand. Thank you, miss. Shocking, says Fox Club. <laughs> what did she get Did I have basic land? Pass the turnip. Pass the, pass the turnip on the left hand side. The turnip is being passed. I'll play a shivan reef. I'll tap five. Send nice. us. I'll go to combat. I'll choose odds. That is not odd. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm tapping join for turn, playing a swamp, playing. Four bringing out two rat colonies. Uh, They've come to colonize us. Freaking, freaking rats, man. Two, three, and then I shall um, attack not visions, not your law. Crispy for two. I will take two. Moving to my end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures I control, so you all lose one life. Mm. I'd like you less and less. <laughs> and then I'll pass. And tap. Draw. Fiendish plan has now backfired. You had a fiendish plan? I had a most fiendish plan. It all meant, well, I was supposed to have drawn something else. You were supposed to have drawn something else? Yes, not this horrible card. So I'll play a forest. Um. Okay, so I will um, Has anybody got any enchantments on the board? Nope. I've got Goblin <coughs> Festival. Yeah, okay, well sorry no. So I'll pay one to activate Golgari Signet for green, black, then red, black and green, black, and I'm pay Baleful Beholder and each opponent sacrifices an enchantment. And if we don't have one? Then you don't check. sacrifice one, because you don't have one to sacrifice. Hey. But I now have a 6-5 buddy on the board there, so I'm going to pass. Nice. And he's black, Ricardo. He's black. No, you can't say that. What is going on? It's a ratty situation, says yeah, Linus the Veil. This is not working for me. It's got a very bad hand. 
Oh well. Basic mm. like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I'll tap six. What? Yeah, my good friend, the local. Oh. Oi! Yes, the locust god. <laughs> yes, it's the locust god. Yes. I'll okay. go to flip a coin. I'll choose odds. Come on. Daddy evens. wants a new house. Be evens. God damn it. <laughs> I'll pass. Cool. <laughs> Trying for the ten. luck is not in my favor. No, not at the moment. Playing a swampy. I shall tap three, one, two, three, for another relentless threat. So my, my relentless threaties are growing as well. And I shall pay another one to cast uh, lab rats, which is a sorcery, which just allows me to create a one, one rat. Uh, no one, one. Free state. What? That's terrible. So these are going up to five. So they are seven sevens now. Yes. Well, not seven um, sevens. Seven ones. Seven ones. Seven ones. Sorry. Sorry. Um, okay. And we have Oscar. Which is a four four and Loshi. Okay, so I'll send one at Yola and one at Visions. Sure, I'll take seven. Okay. Don't you want to block with one of your creatures, Yola, or or you want to take Maybe. it? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, cool. Then um, at the at my end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tap creatures I control, so everyone loses two. And I'll pass. I shall untap. Look at all of this untapping. I shall draw a card. I shall sigh heavily after drawing that card. Because my deck are not working. It is not happy with you tonight. No, Corvold doesn't want to come and play. So I'll memorial to Folly for turn and pass. Alrighty, Ozzy Wozzy's then. Yes, Cora, come, come, come up for Halloween. It is a good idea. Those, those of you who joined late, please do have a look uh, in chat for the link. I don't know, Zoe, if you want to post it again to our uh, 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 it's a form that you can fill in to choose which decks we'll play next week. Uh, it's your choice. So have a look at that form and submit them and get it finished. And then you, you guys decide who plays next week. Singing badly as you go. Tap. Draw. I'm getting an insect. Is it getting an insect? <laughs> yes, if, you, if you get that same card draw that you had in the previous match online, you're going to get a ton of insects. I'll play uh, Mystic Sanctuary Tapped. Cool. Oh, this is in the chicken stream, so let's go. I'll play Teferi's Ageless Insight. So when I draw a card, I'll draw an extra one instead. Oh, nice. Dit is a Gocha, yeah. Lioness of the Bell says your insect is a Gocha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go to combat. Commands and split the own. Suck. Which is odds. Yes. Yay! I'll draw two from the extra one from Teferi's Ages Insights. And you get two insects. 
Yes. <laughs> Tiffus is a achless fourteen. <laughs> I'll choose odds again. Damn it, that's not an odd. No, that was not an odd. The last time I checked, six to... was an even number. I'll play cox thumb. Oh boy. And I'll pass. <laughs> again. <laughs> Click Come on. Wood. See, cox thumb knows I'm I'm getting bad luck, so <laughs> I need to. Have you got four gogas there now? Three. Three gogas, okay. Three, three, one more gogas. I think we should make our own token and call it a goga. <laughs> yes, it's a South African insect. A South African insect is a goga. It's yours, Ricardo. Cool. It's happening. <clears throat> Drawing for turn. I will um, play another Swampy. I will pay five. Bring out Marrow Nolor. Mm -hmm. And I shall pass. I shall then tap. I shall draw. Oh, look at that. I shall do a horrible thing. Give me one second. I need a thing to say what I'm doing. Is the silver pen on your side? Yes. Would you pass it here? Thank you. I'm so glad I can't see my flashlight because he's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Get the pen open. <laughs> I have my the pen. Life, my life is a picture of Marvin. Your line visions. I gain one life because my counters on my rat colony was wrong. Um, it was actually okay. just plus four. So they were six instead of seven. Okay. Oh. Tap four. To play Torment of Scarabs on Ricardo. Is it a curse? It is a curse. Enchant player. At the beginning of Enchant player's upkeep, that player loses three life unless he or she sacrifices a non land permanent or discards a card. Okay. Thank you. Sure. So it's because Visions, <laughs> Visions is the real threat this game. <laughs> Dude, I'm still suffering from rat fatigue. <laughs> Red fatigue. You still have the plague. Still have the plague. Did I play a land for turn? I have no idea. No, I did not. So I shall play a snow covered swamp. Snow covered swamp. And then. And then. <sighs> I shall do nothing and pass the freaking turn. Why did you do nothing and pass the turn? What is wrong with you? I got nothing. I can't do nothing. I, you know, unfortunately, lose the feelings. Yeah, well. I can do nothing. I kept a hand. I kept a hand because it had mana, and apparently, I was just supposed to get more of that. <laughs> oh, I would love to swap situations. I need mana, 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 ding, 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 mana, mana. No, Scoots is a hocha. <laughs> Scoots are adorable and totally harmless until they break arena. Yes. Um, they are the Lioness of the Bill says, Gogha's are cute and cuddly. I don't think I've ever come across a cute and cuddly Gogha. Especially not a mole cricket. Oh, no. Uh, uh, those things are evil. <laughs> Bigger Klassen says, You guys are spelling it wrong. It's gobos, not Gogha's. <laughs> right, <laughs> Adamantium says Run Rabbit mm. has the biggest watch. <laughs> <laughs> and now Visions is going to draw a ton of cards and create a gazillion insects. And then we'll die to insects. I'll play my other we'll commander, to Boom. Eye of Chaos. Parktown <laughs> Brawn. Yeah, that's a cuddly thing. Let's tap a bit differently. 
because you might just get fun something very funny if we draw enough cards. <laughs> oh, go to combat. Beat them, Ryan. Odds or evens? I'll choose odds. That's an even. 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 Okay. Even. Not not oh. Draw two. Make two Make two horrors. You're going to need a D1. I'll on choose odds again. Even. 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 Uh, even. Yeah. Another even. So. Ah. I'll go to Akun's ability. He's got the same ability as Endersplit. Uh, and he also doubled once his power. I will go odds. Even. And that is an odd. So I'll draw two. <laughs> yes. Get two more. Oh, Adam says, beat them, Brian. For I'll Poch, for again. Culture, for Zion. Foxclub says, oh, yes. raise the flag for your kidsman. Bigger Clarsen says, do uh, it for the yogurt. Do it for the yogurt? Apparently. Interesting. So, Akun is now a 6. He is a 12-12. Excellent. Sure. Uh, let's... I'll send 7 flying to Ricardo. Cool, take it. Then I'm gonna tap three and I'll lose to life, cost for and metamorph. And I'll change I'll make it a throne of the god power. So I'll go to my end step, you all lose seven life. Sure. And I'll pass. Ricardo, you need Oof. to lose three life or sacrifice an online permanent or discard a card. Three. Okay. Going for turn. Paying two. Bringing out another red colony. Oy. It makes it six. Six. And then, and so, gonna need more dice. Uh, Six, and then I'm going to pay another two, bring out another rat colony, and make it. Uh... So, um, so this will be rat pie. Seven, seven. What is third of the god for the yuppie yuppie? <laughs> it's, it's Throne of the God Pharaoh, okay. <laughs> Just written very then ugly. The alternative I will tap, tap my commander, sacrifice this token rat jobby, and then create more rats it's equal to what I control. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll create six additional rats. Uh, which would put these at, so 7 plus 6 at 13. Okay, so all these rats are 13. Um, so they're 15, 15 15s, basically. They're 15 ones. 15 ones, correct, yeah, with fear. Okay, so they're 15 ones. With fear, these have summoning sickness. Mm -hmm. I will send both of them to visions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll die. Uh, I don't know. I, I had a feeling I would be dead the next turn. <laughs> Idea. And then I'll, I'll pass the turn. I don't, I don't know what you mean, Geogoot. Are we raffling off sea people? Leave my sea people alone. Are we raffling off sea people? Right. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. It really is. Um... <sighs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not 
getting anything is what I needed. Okay, so we'll play Temple of the False God for turn. Mm -hmm. All the mana in Christendom. I'll swap you some mana for, you know, a future redeem. Sure, let's do that. I'm going to tap that for two. You use one to tap the Golgoy signet. So I've got one and a black and a green and a red and a black and a green and a one and I'll tap that for one and I will bring out Corvold, sacrificing the Baleful Beholder to Corvold, who I then get to put a plus one plus one counter on and draw a card. For Pete's sake, really? <laughs> Then I will tap that for two, and I will play Fate's Reversal and bring back my Baleful Beholder and <laughs> ask all my opponents to please uh, destroy any enchantments you may have. Nice. <laughs> yeah, ima imagine that, because that's awesome. <laughs> that would probably work really well against the Dahlia deck, you know, like a four-beaten enchantment. But, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, I'm going to just pass, eh? <laughs> Okay, dokie. I will only tap my three to win, so it's a bit a tiny, tiny little bit of mana, and then I will draw and go, oh, hey, check that out. To Unter three, and then I can play Burnished Path, <laughs> which doesn't help me, oodles, because I have to pay three to sacrifice it to go find the land. <laughs> awesome. But I'll just pass and die. I think we're both heading that way. Uh, I think so. I think, this is I think the rats are oh, the rats good. are ruling the roost tonight. Yes. You at least have a uh, black creature to block. I have two black creatures to block. Yes, I, I have two yes. and I'm going to be dead soon. Okay, cool. I'm untapping. Um, I am... So which Ryan, one your Jorjas didn't make it, bro. No, unfortunately not. Okay, cool. I will pay two and play go for the throat um, on your Corvald. Which does what exactly? Oh, sorry. The Neo right. destroy target non-artifact creature. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Then I will sacrifice one of my tokens uh, and tap Marrow Nor, and I get great one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven more rats. <laughs> so these go up to twenty six. All my rat colonies are now 26, 26. I will send three of them to Crispy and one of them to Run Rabbit. And they will die to... horribly dead. I will be dead. Mm. GG rats. How oh, my rat gone twice in a row? row. It's insane. GG rats. <laughs> awesome. Rats are almost as irritating as slivers, actually. GG rats. <laughs> Especially when, you know, you get like a hand with no mana. I had a hand full of mana. That's all I had. All I had was mana. I had mana and I had future, 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 future stuff. Lots of mana. I had all the mana. And expensive creatures. Like, don't have my cheese. I had a dream. <laughs> you had a dream. <laughs> oh, I had a dream and lots of mana. <laughs> and a man tip says, rat a tat a tat. That's exactly what happened. We all got shot dead with rats. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who haven't had a look at that form yet, go check it out. Fill it in, please, so that we can get some feedback and we can know who's going to be playing what next week because that's your choice. It's viewer's choice next week. Uh, on top of that, once again, a big shout out to our awesome partners, Unplug Yourself, who are the people behind our Patreon grand prize, quarterly prize of 4,000 rands worth of Magic the Gathering goodies. So go check out patreon.com forward slash easy gaming group and have a look at the patreon uh, patron option there um, and decide if you want to be an awesome eggy 
because because you can be there's a cat not a rat that's not a rat that's a cat it's It's classification the other thing uh we just like to mention the last time is again uh thanks to cora for putting together that form for next week it's going to be awesome we're very excited to see those results and what decks people want to see get played next week um the other side of all of this is don't forget on sunday session zero Saturday. saturday I said Saturday. I was just I was just checking that people were awake. Saturday, four p.m. live on this very channel, Twitch.tv forward slash Easy Gaming Group. Session zero of Egg D and D. Roll this. We'll be rolling up some characters and getting ready for a very cool campaign. We'll also be giving away one of the very 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 cool D and D starter set box sets, um, courtesy of our amazing partners at Unplug Yourself. So. Don't miss out on that. Tell all your friends who like D&D to come and join us as well. Uh, until then... Uh, oh, and uh, the Egg Pod next week has got some pretty cool guests as well. Um, we've got a, Because we're starting the D&D thing on Saturday, we've got a bit of a D&D theme happening for the Egg Pod on Monday night. So I'll put out some stuff to show you guys what's going on there. But until then, uh, say good night, Code Monkey. Good night. Say good night, Ryan. Good night. Say good night, run rabbit. Good night. And peace and love, y'all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much for watching and for joining us here on Commanders. It means the world to us that you guys actually watch us play this game that we all love so much. So good night and peace out, y'all.